challenges are a political hot potato, really, as the federal government is now proposing to change how most low-income families get free or reduced-priced lunch for their children. And our Lisa Balick, live in Northeast Portland, and I know you've looked into this, Lisa. What have you discovered? How will it affect kids here in Oregon? Well, federal government leaders say they're trying to save money and they want to make sure those who are on the program truly belong in the program. But opponents of this change say it's just going to hurt the kids and kids are going to suffer. Among the hundreds of thousands of school children in Oregon, there are thousands who come from homes where their family income is so low they qualify for free or reduced price lunch. Generally, students are automatically signed up when their families receive SNAP benefits, government money to help pay for food. But a proposed federal rule would make a big change. Families instead would have to go into their child's school and fill out applications for the meals. A big concern is that a lot of families might not do that. They may be afraid of going in. Administrators in some school districts like Salem-Kaiser, where 70 percent of the students qualify for free and reduced lunch, say language, literacy, and homelessness are barriers they believe could prevent families from coming in to sign up. There's also concern that schools that serve free meals to all students might lose funding for that program as well. The way that schools become eligible is based on the number of students who are automatically certified for SNAP. And so when you lose that certification, that hurts the entire school community. Um, and we know that, um, that schools that do universal meals, that reduces stigma. The Oregon Education Department says some 68 schools would likely lose funding to serve meals to all kids. We anticipate there's going to be litigation uh, to try and stop it. So far, there have been 127,000 public comments, uh, the overwhelming majority of those opposing this rule and documenting the harm that would cause to communities if this rule you know, was enacted. Now, if this rule does get through and survives the litigation that may be coming, the earliest it would start would be in the fall of next year. Live in Northeast Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News. Okay, we'll keep our eyes on it. Thanks, Lisa.